Joining me now, Tom Homan, former acting ICE director, a Fox Business contributor. Tom, the crisis is because they stopped Trump's policies. This is disgusting. Well, look, when, it, when the crisis first started, she said it was because President Trump dismantled the program. Then they said it was seasonality. The numbers go down in summer and get hotter. Then they said it was climate change. Then they said it was poverty. Then they said it was Central American crime. Look, she's just pointing her fingers at everybody except pointing at the Oval Office. That's where the blame is. The data is clear. If they want to, if they want to secure the border, re turn on the Trump policies we created. That's proven successful. That's all they need to do. And I got a reminder. She's talking about the Congress she just left a year ago? Because on the Trump administration, I went to the Hill numerous times and tried to get them to legislate the three loopholes that caused surges to happen. But they didn't want to do it because that would secure the border. What she's asking Congress to do, and, and President Biden's asking Congress to do, is some more giveaways. Let's award amnesty, let's award DACA, let's, uh, let, let's have more giveaways, let's reward illegal behavior, which she clearly knows is just going to cause more illegal immigration. Well, if the Republicans retake the leadership in the House of Representatives and or the Senate, Tom, there will be investigations uh, into the practices that are from Biden and company that are clearly illegal. You talk about flying illegal immigrants across the country and dumping them here, there, and everywhere. You're absolutely right. Look, I've been working very close to the state of Texas. I'll be testifying at, in this month, uh, suing the Biden administration on the ICE priorities. We're 3-0 and o in our lawsuit simply because, Dagan, as you just said, we're proving in a court that not only are they ignoring statute, congressionally, congressionally mandated statutes, they're breaking the law. They're, they're violating statutes. And we're going to keep winning these cases because this administration is lawless. What they have done to this border is, 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 is it's criminal. I mean, they, they, they keep talking about Trump's policies were inhumane. Deaths have doubled. Migrant deaths have doubled the first year under Biden. That's humane. 100,000 overdose deaths of fentanyl got across the, across the border. That's humane. 31% of women being sexually assaulted making that journey. That's humane. When President Trump secured the border the high, at the lowest level in 40 years, how many women didn't get sexually assaulted? How many children didn't die? How many overdose deaths didn't happen? I mean, President Trump saved lives. We're, that policy is much more humane. A secure border saves lives. Tom, what's the morale? Uh, among not just border agents, but people who work within um, immigration and customs enforcement? Because, again, you see these videos being leaked of, of border agents, as one example, being outraged at, at what the Biden administration has done. But, and so if things are being leaked, you know it's bad. But what is the morale? There is no morale. The morale is not existent in ICE and Border Patrol. The officer, the Border Patrol agent, turned his back on the, the, uh, the secretary. I actually talked to him. And I told him, look, in ordinary circumstances, I wouldn't want a, uh, a frontline officer to take on a cabinet member. However, since that cabinet member, the secretary, has continued to lie to the American people, he, is, he has lied to the Border Patrol agents. When he gets up on the podium and says the border is secure, when these guys are busting their butts 24-7, he's done. he has not had one town hall meeting telling them what the strategy is. What's the solution to securing the border? It's just a constant drumbeat against these officers. He did the right thing by turning his back on the secretary because he started a movement. Now that the border patrol, whose morale is in the tank, they're going to start leaking stuff right and left. And what they're doing is, is, is they're opening this controversy up to a lot of congressmen and senators now involved. The American public sees it. That Border Patrol agent is a brave soul, and I think what he did is start a movement that may save that agency. How? By educating the American people on the truth, that the border is, is, is the most— we went from the most secure border in my career under President Trump to a historic illegal immigration. And when you have historic illegal immigration, when half the Border Patrol is off that line, that's when drugs come across. That's when criminals come across. That's when fentanyl comes across. That's when known and suspected terrorists come across. Border Patrol's arrested 16 in an FBI screening database. There's a half million gotaways. How many of them are known suspected terrorists? They caught five Syrians the other day. This is a national security issue. And these, these brave men of the, uh, the Border Patrol are bringing it out of, out of the darkness now. They're sick, they're sick and tired of the lies administration. They have integrity. These men and women are the finest 1 percent this country has, and they're going to get the truth to the American people, even if it means they have to leak, leak uh, documents out of the department. Tom Homan, great to see you, sir. Thank you so Good much for you. being here always.